Use these part drawings to build this extension spring in SolidWorks. Unit system, millimeters, part origin, arbitrary, material, plain carbon steel. This is the third example for the Helix Command main lecture. The links to that 10 minute lecture and other examples and lectures are found in the description below. Just like we did with the previous two springs, we'll create a half a spring, in this case the bottom half, and copy and rotate it to complete the spring. For this bottom half, we'll create a helix on the top plane with a base of a 10.9 mm diameter circle. Since there are 43 and a half coils, our half spring helix has 43.5 divided by 2 coils and is 40 mm tall. For now, however, just to be able to create the bottom hook more comfortably, without the SolidWorks camera trying to show the entire helix every time, we'll just have two coils with a 4 mm height and we'll then change it back to what it needs to be. And notice that this is a counterclockwise helix going up. Where this helix begins, we want to create an arc exactly one quarter of a circle of radius 1.12 mm. However, we don't want to create it on a plane that is tangent to the helix. Otherwise, the hook at the bottom would begin from outside the coil diameter of the spring. What we want is for this arc to start at the origin of this helix, but move towards the circumference of the circle we see from the top, so that the hook starts exactly from the coil diameter of the spring. To do this, we'll first sketch a center line on the top plane, that begins where the coil ends at 10.9 over 2, or 5.45 from the center, exactly below the origin, that measures 1.12 millimeters, and ends at also 5.45 from the origin. This center line is basically a projection on the top plane of the arc we're gonna create. The reason we create this center line is so that we can make a vertical reference plane parallel to it. And that plane is there for us to sketch the arc of radius 1.12 going from the end of the helix to where the beginning of the hook is located. We just make sure to fully define it and pierce it to the helix. And now we simply need a plane that will go from that side of the circle to the opposite side of it, meaning we need a vertical plane that passes through a circumference of that circle. We can sketch that center line on the top plane, starting where the other center line ended, 10.9 millimeters in length and coincident with the origin. We use it for creating the plane for the hook, and on that plane, we sketch a line that is 2.73 millimeters long, a semicircular arc 5.45 in radius, and a segment that has a length equal to 9.3 minus 2.5 minus the hook's radius. We make sure that the arc begins and ends on the same horizontal value, and that this hook is piercing the arc we just sketched. And that's basically it, because all that's left is procedures we've covered several times. Going back to making the helix 40 millimeters tall, having 43.5 divided by 2 revolutions, creating a composite curve out of the 3 curves, sweeping it with a 1.6 millimeter circle, and copying the resulting part to rotate it with respect to the center of the spring at 40 millimeters in the y direction, 180 degrees over z, and 180 degrees over y. We can hide the planes and sketches, assign it a plain carbon steel, and here compare it from the front, from the side, and from the top. The links to more CSWA type examples as well as the main 10-minute lectures of the SOLIDWORKS course and other engineering courses are found in the description below. Make sure to check them out and thanks for watching.